Hello everyone. Well, it is the last day of January 2023. So the year is still very young. And on behalf of all team of us working here in Alicia Center of Wellbeing, I would like to wish you the very, very happy year and really successful year. And let's hope that at the end of this year, when we will welcome each other next time at the beginning of 2024, the life will be easier for all of us and we will be happier, more satisfied and so on. So let's work through this year toward the better 2024. I'm Alicia Ratin and welcome you in our dowsing corner in which we talk about different dowsing methods and procedures to help ourselves to solve the problem and to learn more about ourselves and the world around us. Among many, many questions uh, which I ask actually for to prepare those videos according to what you would like to know not what I think you should know. There was one request which was quite interesting and therefore we will start 2023 with this. Someone asked to show how can we read people using pendulums, using dowsing. Well, let's see how to approach this, uh, this issue. There is many methods of reading people depending on what you want to know. But I will show you one uh, method which you may not be familiar with and it's very interesting. Especially that it will show the inner, actually, attributes of this person. Not necessarily the level of health of the liver or uh, or lung or whatever you want to check. That will be about reading people if they, first of all, when they speak, what comes from their mouth and also what they see and what they want to project toward the world. But one thing is very important to talk about at the beginning. And that's why I will show you what people and what pictures did I choose for today. First thing is that you need to be neutral. Stay as much neutral as you can. Your political sympathies or not, your political choices should not kind of shade your opinions here. When you see the picture, you read this person regardless of what. It's not your place now, at that moment, to judge the person. Everything what you have on the table you will read this person should be removed. You should be having only your pendulum mostly one, but I, I prepared a few because I wanted to show you which one uh, I will use and, and why. And the pictures or object you will work on should be placed on another table or close to it, but not on the table you will, not on the place you will work with one thing only. That's one thing, because the energies of other pictures from other pictures and other objects and whatever shouldn't be messing up with the energy of this, what you will work on. Secondly, the choice of the pendulum. As you know, there are pendulums which have very sharp tip, like for example, Super Isis 16, uh, in both forms, smaller or, or bigger, 
uh, or Atlantis pendulum, which also has a tip on the bottom, again, smaller or bigger. Those are pendulums which are very good to work on the topic we will work today on. Just because this sharp tip will allow us to send the energy like a laser beam down to this place. However, I very, very much like to work with golden hue. This is not the best pendulum to work on things like we will work on today because this round bottom makes this pendulum sending energy not like a beam, but rather as a like a um, cylinder of light. So it will not be focused on one thing. Let me give you one example. If you will work on someone's eyes, because then the light will kind of slide over and read the eyes instead of like this pendulum, for example, um, kind of scratching the energy. Okay? So today we will work with pendulum which has a tip and I will use the Atlantis pendulum just because it will be very well visible by you on this video. All right, so let me put all those pendulums aside and then we will take a picture and the pictures and I will introduce to you the people who will work today on. As we said before, I will first introduce the people we will work on and then we will work on them one by one. So we have Luther King Jr., unknown person, unknown person, President Biden, unknown person, President Trump. And I especially took those controversial uh, people because we will try to do our best to read them without any prejudice. Let's start. Now, let's clear the picture and put all those pictures aside. And then we will leave just one picture on the table. And let's say it will be this young woman I have no idea who it is. I took this picture from the internet. So first of all, we will find her wavelength. So show me her wavelength, show me her wavelength. And it's here. And because I want you to see very well the movement of the pendulum, I will go on the second range of her wavelength. Okay, so what we will do now is we will put our pendulum over her mouth to see what comes from her mouth. Is it a frequency of gold or not? We will not ask questions because the pendulum will read the energy which comes from her mouth and will move accordingly. And then we will move the pendulum over her left eye which is which is what she gets because left side is receiving side so how she see the world what comes to her from the world outside and then we will move the pendulum over her right right eye which means because right side is is the, the size which gives the energy then we will see what this person projects to the world, what she wants to see in the world around her. Okay, so let's start. I am on her wavelength. Oops, I'm sorry. have to take my jewelry off. My, only my bracelet off. So we are on her wavelength. And then I will put the pendulum over her mouth and pendulum moves to the left 
which means current counterclockwise, which says no, however, she's smiling. The gold does not come, golden light does not come from her mouth. Let's move it over her left eye. And it goes clockwise to the right, which means that this is yes, my yes. And it means that what she gets from the world is beautiful picture. And then let's move the pendulum over her right eye. What she projects. And it moves to the left. So it seems like what she sends to the world is not very good picture. It's interesting because, again, this woman is smiling. So everything looks great, theoretically, but she see and projects two different things, okay? From her mouth, spiritual aspect, the most divine aspect does not come because the pendulum moved to the left, which means in no direction. All right, let's remove her and take another person. And again, I will take them one by one. So here we have a President Trump. So let's go over his mouth. Oh, his wavelength. His wavelength is a very, very short. So we'll go on, on fourth range. And we also need to remember that shorter the wavelength, more, um, in a sense, more spiritual person is. Even if you don't like the person, or I don't like the person, the fact is the fact. So let's move it over his mouth. And the movement is yes, which means there is a gold coming from his mouth. Which means when he says something to us, it comes from divine level. And it is, or the truth behind it is truly spiritual based. His left eye moves to the left, which means what he sees on the world, what comes to him when he watches the world, observes the world, is not a very happy picture. And his right eye, uh, it moves clockwise, which means what he projects is nice picture, which means he wants to see better future, nicer, at least nicer than what he see at the moment. So let's move this picture away and let's go with the Luther King Jr. Again, his wavelength. Also very, very short. So let's go on his fourth again. And exactly the same procedure, so let's not repeat every time. The same over the mouth. Gold is coming from his mouth, left eye. Not really, the world he was seeing wasn't really beautiful one. And exactly like a previous picture, uh, the right eye moves to the left, to the right clockwise, which means what he wants to project is divine aspect of life for all of us. Let's take uh, this woman this time, just to have a woman from time to time on the table. And her wavelength, again, none of us, I guess, know this person. Mm. 
her wavelength is still short, not as short as two previous two, but let's go on, the, on her first, fourth, and put it over the mouth. And when she speaks, she speaks her truth, and her truth is divine based, because it was moving, pendulum was moving to the right. Left eye to the left, not very good picture what she see. The left, the right eye, sorry. Uh, she would like to see a lot better world because the pendulum was moving to the right, which means into yes direction. And then next picture, which is another president of United States. So his wavelength. His wavelength is longer than all people before him. So we will go on the second range. And again, we go to the to the mouth. And again, we will not say anything. We just will allow pendulum to read the energy, which is left, which means that there is no compatibility between the divine and what he says. Left eye, not the very good picture. It moves to the left. And what he projects is also not divine based, which is interesting because it looks like person like this. I'm not talking about this particular gentleman. I'm talking about in general about situation like this it would look like the person however it's not a pretty picture what he sees he does not want to change much which means he's satisfied with the picture he see he sees interesting i wouldn't expect anything like this from a person, not from the president, but from any person, because normally, you know, people want to improve something and see people, see we're all different. But this gentleman, again, I just took his picture from the internet. And again, uh, the wavelength is longer, so we'll go on the second range over the mouth movement is to the left which means there is no again no compatibility between however he's smiling so you would say oh he's so nice he's so happy and so on and projecting a happy life or his happiness but what he says to us is not congruent with what he, uh, what inside of him, the truth, which he stands for. Left eye. Left eye is to the left, which means he does not see beauty in the world outside of him. And then the right. But you see, that is... What very often happens, pendulum is moving to the right, which means, however, he doesn't speak um, very much from divine level, and he see not the, you know, happy picture, but he projects something beautiful. He wants the world to be nicer, maybe only for him, and according to his um, picture of the world, his pursuit of the world, and his own future, but this way or the other, he wants to see something different than he see actually in that moment. I hope you like this method of reading people. You can read people this way, 
For example, if you run a business and you want to employ someone, will this person be compatible with the rest of the team or not? What's her or his um, view on the world is how he would like to see the future because among other things he or she will see this way also your company in the future so that's one thing the second thing is that you can know a, a lot more about their deep uh, spiritual or not take on himself and on the world but most important in my opinion is if the person is congruent with between what he says and what he means especially in business or in a relationship it is really really important if you liked this video I would like to invite you to subscribe and join our group, growing group of dowsers who wants to know more about scientific dowsing. We also invite you to our uh, group, which is scientific dowsers group. It's a private group, so you cannot find it, but contact us through email. We also invite you to visit our website intuitivedowsing.com to find out more about not only shapes but also spiritual background of those shapes.